Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to make bi-weekly contest 81Q2. Count unreachable pairs of nodes in an undirected graph. So basically, the way to think about this, and I think, first of all, I think this is way tricky um, and maybe unreachable, you can say, uh, for Q2, to be honest. It's just way hard. I mean, it's, it's not hard in general, but it is hard for Q2 because there's a lot of uh, maybe not a lot, but there is some knowing certain things required where I think histor or for me, in my opinion, Q2 generally don't require any data structure or, you know, algorithm. Um, it's just about like figuring out what to do and solving puzzles or maybe sometimes. Um, but this one does require um, some kind of algorithm. Though that said, it's not super hard ones, things that I would expect you to know during an interview, but it's still like a little bit, for me, it's just a little bit uh, hard for Q2. Um, you know, uh, how, how long did that? I actually spent three minutes. I probably could have been faster. I think what I, uh, I, I think I was undecided about what I want to do for this one. Um, but what you should do is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also join me on Discord. But yeah, but basically this is a connected components problem. And for me, to be honest, I kind of was, I spent a little bit too much time debating which way to write it. Um, and also, I probably should have a, a template ready for Union Fine. I know that uh, a couple, number of people, at least on my Discord, um, have been giving me, uh, you know, giving me comments about um, giving giving me comments about not having because uh, I always type out Union Fine, um, but I probably could have done it faster if I just didn't have to worry about union fine. I probably spent like a minute and a half typing this out. This is just very standard union fine stuff. You don't, so they, you don't need union fine. You can do it another way. This is just connected components. But, uh, and also technically you could have um, done this in a better way, but I was just, you know, but yeah, if I had copy and paste this, I probably would have saved about two minutes, which, you know, of a four minute problem that I've done was mm, a little bit suboptimal. But the idea here is that, okay, let me actually go back a little bit. What is the idea, right? Well, given a component, then every every um, node inside a component, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the 0, 2, 4, and 5. So that means that the square or rectangle on top, that means that everything that's not in that component is going to make an unreachable from each other, right? So that's basically the idea. Um, so, then, so then the idea is that you build out every connected component, count the size, and then count the number of nodes inside uh, that component, and and then the number of nodes that are outside that component is just n minus that number, right? So that's basically the idea here: is that I do union fine, I do union fine, I union them so that I do connect the uh, components, and then I just do the counts, and then now for each count, we go okay. Uh, that's the number number of nodes inside the inside the connected components, and that's the number of nodes outside the component. Uh, uh, connect the components, and I just divide it by two because, well, because I'm I'm double counting both direction, and here we want a distinct right. Um, so that's fine. So you can actually also do this with um, you know, you, you don't have to implement this with union fine. You could have done this with that for search. Maybe it depends on how, you know, the uh, stack space and stuff like this. Um, but you can definitely do it with breadth for search, which was I was debating. Which way to go? Which way is faster? Uh, maybe the fastest way would have been just copy and paste. But I actually don't have this like in a good place to paste from. So, eh, so maybe that's on me. Uh, anyway, yeah. So what is the complexity? Um, if you had done it, breadth first search or depth first search, um, well, each edge is going to get visited once, and it's going to be linear space. So if you did it with, um, this is going to be O of V plus E space, and also O of E time, right? Because that's just the, the time to do it with the graph. Um, for union fine, you know, we, we do O of E unions. Um, of course, we have O of, you know, O of E plus E space. Is that true, actually? Mm, yeah, maybe I don't need the extra E. So maybe this is just O of E space. And in terms of time, um, uh, let's see, right? And you could have also, by the way, done this as part of the union, the sizes. Um, I think that's the more common way, but today I was just being a little bit lazy. Um, so I did it this way, knowing that it would be fast enough. Uh, but for time, it's just ye unions and uh, technically V plus ye because we have to allocate the space for it. 
Um, so yeah, so that's the time, and that assumes that we have a, a O of one union fine operation, which I know there's some nuances, and technically I didn't even do a by rank or by size or by anything, uh, by depth. So this is slower than that, but let's just say that this is the case. I know that I know there's stuff about reverse argument function that I'm not gonna go into for a bit, uh, for in this video. But yeah, but that's basically the idea. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Um, I will see you later. At, oh no, um, well, you could watch me sub live in the contest next and you'll see some of my hesitation and me writing a couple of lines of breath first search and be like, eh, let's just do Union 5. So I don't know. I don't know which way is better. But yeah, watch me sub live now. Is it better? I don't know. You need fine, 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 fine. I could be faster about this. Zero and fourteen, twenty eight. I have twenty eight. I think I count double. Oh, yeah, probably. Hmm. Okay, fine.
yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's contest, today's problems, and stuff, all this stuff. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health, stay safe out there. I'll see you later. Bye bye.